Hello, good evening, friends. Hi. Uh, good evening. I hope you can uh, see me and hear me as well. I welcome you all to this YouTube live session on an academy NEET PG platform. So today we are going to discuss a very very important topic that is genes and chromosomes. I have covered the half part of it in my last revision session at the an academy plus platform in the revision course that I'm taking. The rest of the chromosomes and a brief review of all the genes and the chromosomes we would be seeing it here. The important point here is I would be sharing tricks to remember the genes and the chromosomes. You get at least one question on this integrated, you know, somehow you have a question on chromosome and genes in at least one of the questions in any medical PG entrance exam. So let's get started with our mnemonics. Yes. So first I will start with uh, chromosome number 15. I had already shared this uh, mnemonic of chromosome 15 in my last session so we are going to see what are the conditions associated with chromosome number 15 okay so chromosome 15 imagine chromosome 15 as a family okay it is like a family so in the family you have father that is the paternal side you have maternal side you have son and you have daughter so chromosome 15 diseases are the same Paternal side is your prader villi syndrome. Maternal side is your Angelman syndrome. Okay. So angels, the mothers are like angels in our lives. So maternal, your Angelman syndrome. Son, imagine a tall son. In the family, there is a tall son and a fair daughter. Okay. So by tall son, we mean that the disease is Marfan's. Okay, Marfan's disease or Marfan syndrome. By fair daughter, fair we mean albinism. Okay, so albinism. So the four diseases associated with chromosome 15 are your Prader Villi syndrome, father, mother, angel man, tall son, Marfan's, and fair daughter albinism. Very important Prader Villi is paternal deletion and maternal disomy. Angel man is maternal deletion and paternal disomy. Remember that. Marfan's is the inheritance pattern is autosomal dominant. Albinism, last year need PG question, inheritance pattern of albinism is autosomal recessive. We will see all these inheritance patterns in one of our revision sessions as well on the Unacademy Plus platform. All the conditions which are autosomal dominant, recessive, X-linked, all those conditions. So I hope this makes clear about chromosome 15. Okay, about chromosome 15. Can someone tell me what is the pattern of lens subluxation in Marfan's disease? Where is the lens sublocated? Up and in, up and out, down and out, down and in. What is the pattern of lens subluxation in Marfan's? I need to see your comments here. Yes. What is the pattern of lens subluxation in Marfan's? Superior and temporal. Yes, uh, Ashwin, correct. It is superior and temporal. Okay. Manali, rather than posterior superior, I want it like it is uh, up and out. How do you remember that? Please, you know, it's a very important question. Marfan's is fan. Okay. Marfan's is fan. So, where is the fan? Fan is up. So, that is why it is up. And when we say, you know, if we say fan out, you know, everybody fan out. So we say fan out, not fan in. So that is why it is up and out. Opposite is in your homocysteine urea. Okay. So remember Marfan's, the subluxation is up and out. Very important. And it is autosomal dominant. What is the gene? What is the gene or the protein involved? The protein involved is fibrillin. Okay, so they can ask you defect in fibrillin leads to Marfan syndrome. Remember that. On this chromosome 15, it is your fibrillin 1, not fibrillin 2. Okay. Now, so you have this family of father, mother, son and daughter. Now the son and daughter, they grow up. They reach the age of 16 years. Okay. So, Sola Baraski Bali Umar as we say. 
so when they reach the age of 16 in their teenage years they have this alpha personalities alpha or type a personalities so you have alpha male the son becomes the alpha male and the daughter becomes the alpha female okay like super confident and uh, smart dominant like this personalities so they are alpha male and alpha female and you know in their teens they start dating and because they are alpha male and alpha female they believe in double dating so you can see here double dating 1 and 2 so they are alpha male alpha female and you see 1 and 2 that is double dating so this is at the age of 16 so this is chromosome 16 so chromosome 16 the son and daughter at the age of 16 become alpha personalities and they do double dating that is 1 and 2 okay so by that we know that alpha stands for your alpha globin chain so alpha globin chain is on chromosome 16 so therefore alpha thalassemia will be chromosome 16 we have seen in our revision session that beta thalassemia or beta globin and that is why sickle cell anemia is at chromosome 11 while alpha is chromosome 16 next is your what is 1 and what is 2 yes we have seen this as well what is 1 and what is 2 one is your pkd1 gene okay polycystic kidney disease this is your autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease 1 pkd1 pkd2 we have seen is on chromosome 4 t is your tsc2 it is your tsc2 gene that is tuberous sclerosis 2 so this is for tuberous sclerosis we have already seen tsc1 is at tsc1 is at chromosome 9 So TSC one is nine, two is sixteen. We have seen that in our revision session as well. Correct. So that is about chromosome sixteen. They become alpha male, alpha female, and they do double dating. That is one and two. But by the time they reach the age of seventeen, they realize that double dating does not work. You need to have, you know, you need to be loyal, and you need to have only one friend, that be it boyfriend or girlfriend. So there is no double dating now. There is only single one. Okay. There is only single person. So that is why at the age of seventeen. the realization dawns upon them there is only single partner so what is this one stands for it stands for your nf1 and brca1 okay it stands for nf1 and brca1 we have seen that already nf2 is at 22 brca2 is at chromosome 13 we have seen chromosome 13 barka2 that is brca2 eye conditions wilson's disease retinoblastoma these are your chromosome 13 patau's is chromosome 13 correct so at the age of 17 realization only single one nf1 brca1 and you have very very important that is your p53 okay you get your p53 gene which is associated with your lee from any syndrome okay so they can ask you lee from any syndrome chromosome 17 the gene is p53 remember p53 is 17p not q so p53 is 17p and not 17q so remember p53 17 nf1 brca1 is 17 so now they have a single partner but you know that it does not stay for long so then they get a breakup okay so at the age of 18 chromosome 18 at the age of 18 there is a breakup okay so there is a breakup and breakup seems like the end of life for everybody so that is like you know they are being issued a death certificate because of the breakup it's like the end of the life that is a death certificate and that tells you that the gene is death certificate means dcc gene okay it is your dcc gene death certificate dcc gene we all know that dcc gene is responsible for which cancer it is responsible for colorectal cancer colon cancer so dcc stands for deleted in colorectal carcinoma similarly you might be asked a question dpc gene is for so it is deleted in pancreatic carcinoma so dpc is pancreas dcc is colorectal dcc is death certificate at the age of 18 so it is chromosome 18 remember it is 18q this is also frequently asked so dcc is 18q correct so now they have a breakup at the age of 18 and you know how it is post breakup like all of you must be you know most of you must be facing this breakup with aims now if you did not perform well it's like a breakup with aims you all must be depressed and worried but uh, let me tell you you need to move on and get ahead with your new girlfriend or boyfriend be it pgi jipmer or neat so go and embrace your new boyfriend and girlfriend 
if you want to be really happy in life staying depressed post breakup really does not help but here what happens is post breakup they get depressed okay post breakup they get depressed and the person keeps drinking or hogging so when the person drinks too much alcohol or hogs too much in depression that leads to increased cholesterol so that is why you get familial hypercholesterolemia okay you get familial cholesterolemia at 19 okay so 18 was breakup at the age of 19 is familial hypercholesterolemia because of excessive drinking and hogging post breakup and then the condition becomes like this a very weak person mus you know muscles are very weak so you get the condition that is myotonic dystrophy okay so that is myotonic dystrophy please remember both these conditions are very very important the inheritance pattern for both of them is autosomal dominant very frequently asked these are autosomal dominant myotonic dystrophy also and familial hypercholesterolemia also in familial hypercholesterolemia there is a mutation in ldl receptor okay remember that there is ldl receptor mutation so that was about 19 so when the person drinks too much and when the person drives a car obviously it leads to accident so at the age of 20 next that is chromosome 20 there is an accident as you can see there is an accident the car is getting skid okay so there is skidding of this car so what do i mean by this chromosome 20 skid means scid okay so scid is associated with chromosome 20 that is severe combined immunodeficiency what is the protein or the gene or the enzyme associated with scid what is associated with scid which enzyme protein gene yes what is absent or deficient in scid very good yuvraj it is ada deficiency that is adenosine deaminase deficiency so rather than asking what is the chromosome for scid they can ask you what is the chromosome number for adenosine deaminase so you need to integrate everything okay so that is how you remember that scid is ada the scar is skidding post breakup at the age of 20 that is chromosome 20 okay now where is the car skidding so the next is your chromosome 21 okay so after skidding the car will fall down where is the car falling down into the forest so the car will fall down into the forest so what do i mean by that chromosome 21 is down syndrome chromosome 21 forest stands for your folate transporter okay folate transporter so the chromosome for folate transporter is chromosome 21 down we all know is chromosome 21 okay trisomy 21 which is most likely due to non disjunction again frequently asked it is due to non disjunction so remember your trisomies you have patau edward and downs okay so in your trisomies patau edward and down you have puberty at 13 you elect you start electing at the age of 18 okay and you start drinking at the age of 21 so that is what it means puberty is patau's elect is edward and drink is downs okay so 13 is patau's 18 is edward and 21 is down we all know that other way to remember is edward is e edward is 18 downs we all know is 21 so the remaining is patau's that would be chromosome 13 that is the other way to remember we have seen the associated conditions with this trisomy is very important in our last revision session please revise that session it's a very very useful session and an important one so that was about chromosome 21 that is down into the forest that is folate transporter what is associated with chromosome 22 chromosome 22 we all know is catch 22 okay catch 22 that means your dijord syndrome or your willo cardio facial syndrome okay so dijord syndrome or willo cardio facial syndrome where you have the gene is 22q11 that's deletion 22q11 okay we also know that we just saw chromosome 22 is nf2 it is nf2 while nf1 
one was when they stay single after the alpha family that is at the age of 17 then so it is 17 so let us just free, uh, quickly revise this from chromosome 15 to 22 that we have seen so 15 is a family where there is father mother tall son and fair daughter so predator villi angel men marfans albinism these are chromosome 15 at the age of 16 the Daughter and the son, they become alpha personalities. So, you have alpha globin and they double date. So, they are 1 and 2. So, 1 is PKD1, autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. 2 is your TSC2, that is tuberous sclerosis. Tuberous sclerosis 1 is your chromosome 9. PKD2 is your chromosome 4. Autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease is chromosome 6. Now then they realize that double dating does not work at the age of 17. So, they have a single partner, that is 1-1. One, one. So, you will have NF1 and you will have BRCA1 at the age of 17. Plus, very important here is your Lee from any syndrome. To, to remember, Lee from any is 17. So, Lee is LI. When you invert it, look it upside down. It is, it is like 17. Okay. So, it is 1 and 7. So, Lee from any is 1, 7. That is 17. So, that is P53 is 17P. Then at the age of 18, after having a single partner also, then there is a breakup, that is a death certificate, that is DCC gene, that is colorectal gene, 18Q. After breakup, because of depression, they start drinking, hogging too much, that leads to deposition of cholesterol, so hypercholesterolemia, and they become weak, so that leads to myotonic dystrophy, so muscular weakness. Chromosome 19, autosomal dominant conditions. So after drinking, when they drive the car, that leads to accident. That is the car starts skidding. So skid, SCID, ADA deficiency is chromosome 20. Where does the car skid? The car falls down into the forest. So downs and folate transporter, these are chromosome 21. Trisomies we have already seen, 13 Patau's, 18 Edward, 21 downs. 22 we have seen is Dijord syndrome, that is catch 22, or below cardiofacial syndrome and NF2. Okay, now... Let us quickly review the chromosomes and the genes. The entire list from chromosome 1 to chromosome 22. Okay. Remember that chromosome 1 in the blood groups, it is important. Your RH blood group is at chromosome 1. So you have RH, you have ABO blood group and you have your Bombay blood group. Bombay blood group is due to absent H antigen. It is due to absent H antigen. Correct. So for RH, what is the chromosome for RH? The chromosome for RH is 1. What is the chromosome for ABO blood group? What is the chromosome for ABO blood group? Yes, can anybody tell me what is the chromosome for ABO blood group? No, it is not 6. Yes, Prashant, very good. It is chromosome 9. Okay, it is chromosome 9. And what is the chromosome for Bombay blood group? Yes. ABO is 9. ABO is not 6. Please remember that. I'll tell you how to remember. What is the chromosome for Bombay blood group? For Bombay blood group, it is... It is 19. For Bombay blood group, it is 19. Okay. How do you remember that? Let me tell you. So, RH when you write, H is small. So, basically, it's a single alphabet. ABO when you write, these are three letters, three alphabets. Okay. So, single alphabet, one square is one. Three letters, three alphabets, ABO, three square is nine. Okay. So, RH is only R. So, that is one square one. ABO is three, three square nine. Combine both 1 and 9, that is 19. So, that becomes your Bombay blood group. Okay. So, 19 is Bombay blood group. Bombay is 19. Okay. So, chromosome 1 is your RH blood group. Chromosome 2, remember that it has many genes for human intelligence. Plus, you have for cysteine urea. Plus, you have for cysteine urea. Chromosome 3. Yes. Chromosome 3 is for... Chromosome 3, very, very important. Remember here, chromosome 3, the three-lettered disease, that is VHL, okay? Von Hippel-Lindau disease. Von Hippel-Lindau disease is associated with 
renal cell carcinoma again three letter so both vhl and rcc they are with chromosome 3 remember that what type of rcc in vhl your clear cell rcc so you have clear cell rcc so very important vhl rcc inheritance pattern of vhl autosomal dominant all your neurocutaneous syndromes neurofibromatosis vhl tuberous sclerosis these are autosomal dominant sturge weber syndrome s is for s it is sporadic remember very very frequently asked ataxia telangiectasia and bloom syndrome bloom syndrome these are autosomal recessive okay let us see the next chromosome 4 we have seen this already as i'm telling you like please revise the session for those who are not there on our revision program yet on our unacademy plus platform you can still subscribe to it there is an offer running the details are there in the description if you have any queries you can reach out to the unacademy support team by dropping in a message at the chat box you can go through all the revision sessions the mnemonics the tips and tricks that we have covered chromosome 4 as i mentioned we have already seen chromosome 4 is huntington's disease chromosome 4 is achondroplasia chromosome 4 is autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease where it is your pkd2 gene pkd1 is chromosome 16 chromosome 5 okay 5 is for f that is familial adenomatous polyposis that is apc gene and 5p deletion is your creduchat syndrome okay so you have apc and creduchat on chromosome 5 chromosome 6 6 is your hemochromatosis we have already seen this hemochromatosis hfe gene okay chromosome 6 very very important to remember your hla complex or mhc complex is located on 6p again very important so 6p hla 17p p53 okay chromosome 7 very very important cystic fibrosis and williams syndrome we have already seen williams syndrome you know you get supravalvular aortic stenosis hypercalcemia cocktail personality elfin facies please revise the session it's very important chromosome 8 yes chromosome 8 is for this i would like to answer you i would like you to answer chromosome 8 can you tell me any condition where you see translocation where chromosome 8 is involved? Any condition, leukemia, lymphoma, where you have a translocation where chromosome 8 is involved? Very good, very good. Yuvraj, Manali, very good. It is Burkitt's lymphoma, correct. So, it is translocation 814 for lymphomas. 14 is a common chromosome. Why is this common? Because remember that this is the chromosome for your IgH, heavy chain immunoglobulin. That is the chromosome for 14. So, even this can be asked. So, IgH is your chromosome 14. So, if Burkitt's lymphoma is translocation 814, can you tell me what gene is this on chromosome 8? What gene is this which is translocated in Burkitt's lymphoma? Very good Paritosh. It is MYC gene. But which MYC gene? I give you the options NMIC, CMIC, LMIC. There are three MYC genes. Which of these? Very good Manali. Prashant, it is not BCL2. Okay, it is not BCL2, it is in follicular. It is your C-MIC gene. It is your C-MIC gene. Okay. So, if the question is, what is the location of C-MIC? If you have not read this, you know, you should still integrate everything. That C-MIC is involved in Burkitt's. In Burkitt's, there is translocation 8, 14. 14 is already IgH. So, remaining is 8. That is why C-MIC would be 8. So, you know that C-MIC is Burkitt's lymphoma. So, if the question is chromosome for Burkitt's, answer will be chromosome 8 because of the C-MIC gene, correct? N-MIC gene is associated with which tumor? N-MIC. Yes. Very good, Yuvraj. It is neuroblastoma. Yes, it is neuroblastoma. 
and the location for nmic gene remember is chromosome 2 but otherwise we also know that the chromosome associated with neuroblastoma is your chromosome 1 so when you have 1p deletion in neuroblastoma it has an unfavorable prognosis so remember that neuroblastoma is 1 and nmic gene is also chromosome 2 to remember it is easy when you write 1 o n e so o n e tells you that it is neuroblastoma okay so neuroblastoma is 1 where is lmic gene involved where is LMIC gene involved? L stands for very good paritosh. Agreed. Lung cancer. But which type of lung cancer? Squamous cell, small cell, bronchoalveolar carcinoma, adenocarcinoma. Which one? Which lung cancer? Which type? Very good, Amrit. It is your small cell lung cancer. Okay, it is a small cell. How do you remember? Small cell has double L. Okay, out of all the squamous, small cell, adeno, bronchoalveolar, small is the one which is double L. That is why it is associated with your L-MIC gene. Okay, so remember C-MIC, N-MIC, L-MIC. Very important questions. Where is your BCL1 and BCL2 gene located? BCL1 and BCL2. First, let us have a look at BCL1. Where is BCL1? Yes, can somebody tell me? BCL1 is located where? In which lymphoma you have read a translocation of BCL1? Can someone tell me BCL1, which lymphoma? Okay, I give you the clue. The clue is, it has increased levels of cyclin D. Okay, again an important MCQ. Where do you see increased cyclin D? Which lymphoma? Very good, Paritosh Yuvraj. It is mental cell lymphoma. Okay, it is mental cell lymphoma. So basically, your BCL1 is nothing but the gene for cyclin D. So it is also called as CCND gene. That is cyclin D gene. So now, can you tell me that? Can you answer now? Where will be the BCL1 gene located? On which chromosome? Therefore, the chromosome will be? If it is in mental cell lymphoma, so what would be the chromosome? Very good, Paritosh. Excellent. It is chromosome 11. Very good. Very good, Shreya. Chromosome 11. Why? Because mental cell lymphoma has translocation 11-14. 14 we saw is IgH. For those who are confused with chromosomal translocations, you can go through my video on my YouTube channel as well. So, you will find the chromosomal translocations with mnemonics. I will be covering that in my revision course at an academy as well. So, 11 is your BCL1. Okay. 11 is your BCL1. So, where do you see now BCL2? Where do you see BCL2? Very good, Divyanshu. It is follicular lymphoma. Okay? It is follicular lymphoma. So, what would be the chromosome for BCL2? Very good, Prashant. It would be, it would be chromosome 18. Why? Because in follicular, you have translocation 14, 18. So, follicular follows, so 14 follows 18. I mean, we had seen the mnemonic. So, it is chromosome 18. So, I hope you know this now that BCL2 is 18. Again, an integrated question. If you integrate everything, you can answer these questions very well. Like BCL1 and BCL2, these are pro-apoptotic or anti-apoptotic? Pro-apoptotic or anti-apoptotic? Very 
वेरी गुड अमृत इट इज एंटी एपोप्टोटिक ओके दैट इज वाई दीज आर एंटी एपोप्टोटिक एंड दैट इज वाई दे लीड टू प्रोलिफ्रेशन ऑफ दी सेल एंड दैट इज वाई दे लीड टू ट्यूमर्स दैट इज लिम्फोमा प्रो एपोप्टोटिक विल कॉज you know a quick cell death while anti will cause cell prolongation cell proliferation that is why you get tumors so bcl1 bcl2 mcl these are your anti apoptotic again you can go through my video on apoptosis on my youtube channel the mnemonics i have shared there so i hope this makes it clear that you can actually integrate everything and you know make things easy to remember so now let us get ahead so chromosome 8 is your cmic that is burkitt's lymphoma chromosome 9 9 we have seen in a revision course is frederick's ataxia 9 is also for your melanoma hereditary melanoma okay p16 is associated with melanoma chromosome 16 chromosome 10 okay 10 we have seen is men2 men2 because you have red proto oncogene on chromosome 10 so men2 is 10 11 we have seen this as well is wilms that is double one wilms and men1 is 11 okay men1 is 11 chromosome 12 what is chromosome 12 for phenyl ketone urea chromosome 13 barka 2 eye conditions wilson's disease and retinoblastoma the details of all these conditions the associated clinical features please go through the revision session course okay 13q14 is the is the location for retinoblastoma important 13q14 chromosome 14 okay chromosome 14 what do we see at chromosome 14 anything very important alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency and your familial hocm okay these are at chromosome 14 we have already seen that 15 we have already seen now in the session family of predervilli angelman okay you have predervilli you have angelman you have marfan that is tall son and you have fair daughter that is albinism 16 alpha alpha personality so alpha globin or alpha thalassemia double dating 1 and 2 so you have pkd1 that is polycystic autosomal dominant and you have tsc2 that is tuberous sclerosis 17 is your 1 1 so they have only one partner now so brca1 and nf1 plus very important is your p53 at 17p 18 may they get a breakup death certificate dcc 19 may depressed post breakup so drinking leads to hypercholesterolemia and muscular weakness that is myotonic dystrophy so when they drive the car there is accident that is skidding so scid that is adenosine deaminase deficiency 18 also remember 18 for edward e is for e edward 21 the car falls down into forest so you have downs and folate transporter okay 22 is catch 22 that is dijot syndrome or willow cardio facial syndrome chromosome x are basically your x linked conditions very important hunters we have seen that in our session on lysosomal storage disorders on the an academy plus platform i am again you know recommending for students who have not joined yet you can subscribe to that course subscription to the an academy plus will give you access not only to my revision course but the entire 19 subjects faculties lessons lectures you can attend plus there is medical marathon that is a rapid revision that we are taking now a one month rapid revision course which you can see in case you have missed the previous sessions as i am saying you can see those sessions now also you can see the recorded sessions as well correct so x is hunters x is fabries we have seen the mnemonics for this x is your duchenne's muscular dystrophy that is dystrophin so they might ask you dystrophin is x chromosome x location is x we have seen autosomal dominant x linked condition x linked dominant denon disease what do we see in that you can go through the revision course so i think this summarizes all the important genes and the chromosomes please revise it and solve as many mcqs as possible so that it assimilates in your brains and you can retain and recall better in the examination hall so i hope you find this session helpful p10 someone asked me p10 let me just quickly tell you about p10 p10 as the term says is nothing but chromosome 10 okay उसके नाम में ही है 
P10 is chromosome 10. Yes, P10 is chromosome 10 and it is associated with which syndrome, which condition? Cowden. So, very, very easy to remember. Okay, very easy to remember. P10 is 10, that is den, that is Cowden syndrome. What is the tumor in Cowden? Okay, so EN again, so you have endometrial carcinoma. And cow is female. So, female cancers, that is endometrial carcinoma. Breast cancer, important tumors associated in Cowden syndrome. So, chromosome 10, P10. Okay, remember that. So, I think uh, this completes majority of our list and I, I very much, you know, strongly think that you will get at least one question from this session. So, please revise it before your exam at least one day. I would also like to know that, you know, uh, how many of you would be interested in the revision strategy live session. If we have a YouTube live session where we discuss the revision strategy and we can suggest you like what you can go through, you can ask us our queries. How many, how many of you would be interested? So, in that case, you can just write down in our comment box as well, in the comments itself. You can, you know, definitely tell us how did you find this session? What are the future topics that you would like us to have? If you are interested in the revision uh, strategy, we would be more than happy to help you in any way we can. As we mentioned, we are the family at An Academy whose mission or goal is to help you crack Neat PG. So, let's crack it, okay? So, get back to your studies now. Keep studying, keep revising and keep winning. Signing off for today, Dr. Nikita, your, your Neat PG mentor. Thank you and best wishes.